Hey, what's up guys? My name is Brainbean. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Thermaltake eSports Ventus Z gaming mouse. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. The Thermaltake eSports Ventus Z is a right-handed gaming mouse with a pretty interesting design. The palm rest of the mouse is hollowed out and replaced with a honeycomb patterned air vent of sorts. This is meant to keep your hand cool and sweat free during use. I think the effectiveness of this design will greatly depend on the type of grip that you use. I use a variation of the fingertip grip so I didn't notice much of a difference with the vents. I think it will mostly benefit players who use a palm grip, but claw grip users might notice some benefit as well. The Ventus is coated in a matte finish that's designed to be grippy but also soft. The shape of the mouse also felt pretty good in my hand. The Ventus has 10 programmable buttons. Mouse 1 and 2 use Omron switches that are rated to last 20 million clicks. Omron is a popular manufacturer of micro switches, and you can find them on many high-end mice. Mouse 4 and 5 are located on the left side for easy use of the thumb, and I found these buttons to be a good size. I personally don't like it when mouse 4 and 5 are too small because I tend to bind them for almost every game that I play. There's also an additional button just below mouse 5 that in default activates a high accuracy or sniper mode, which scales down the DPI for as long as you hold down the button, making it easier to perform more precise actions. One thing I particularly like about the placement of mouse 6 and 7, the thermal take positioned them to the immediate left of the left click button. The buttons come off the mouse at an angle, making it really easy to activate them with a simple flicking motion rather than curling up your finger. Here's a quick sound test for you guys of all the buttons on the Ventus Z. Located behind the scroll wheel are two additional buttons that initially come programmed to toggle in between one of the five available profiles in Thermaltake's command center software. Speaking of the scroll wheel, there's no option to toggle a non-tactile scroll, and I found that the bumps in the scroll wheel felt pretty robust. The Ventus Z is a 16.8 million color RGB illuminated mouse that you can customize in Thermaltake's command center software. As I mentioned before, you can have up to five profiles that can be changed on the fly. These profiles can include key bindings, macros, as well as lighting effects. There's also the added benefit of onboard memory, so you can use your profiles on different PCs. There are three lighting presets available to choose from, static, pulse, and spectrum cycling. There's also a battle mode that will make the colors of the LEDs change according to how fast you're clicking the buttons. The mouse is illuminated in two places, the scroll wheel and in the Thermaltake Esports Dragon logo located under the vented palm rest. The Ventus Z uses an 11,000 DPI Avago 9500 laser sensor. It has on-the-fly DPI adjustment and you can store up to four preset DPI settings per profile. In terms of extra features, the Ventus has a nice 1.8 meter long braided cable with gold plated USB connector, an adjustable weight system with three 4.5 gram weights, and large Teflon feet for smoother use. I use the Ventus Z as my daily driver for a few days both in gaming and for regular use like video editing. As for my impressions of the mouse, let's start with the negatives. One thing that sort of bothers me about Thermaltake software is that you have to download a different program for each peripheral. I really wish that they had a single program similar to Razer's Synapse or Corsair's Q. This would make it a lot easier to sync the lighting effects on all of your Thermaltake peripherals. I also would have liked to see more weights included of various amounts to allow you to tailor the feel a little bit more than simply removing a few or adding some. As for what I like about the Ventus Z, the mouse is weighty and it has a nice shape making it nice and comfortable to hold. I really like the way they contoured the mouse 6 and 7 buttons to make it almost effortless to hit. And I found the coating to be really pleasant feeling. As far as performance, the Avago laser sensor performed really well. I never had any issues with tracking and changing DPI settings was nice and smooth. Overall, I think the Ventus Z is a good mouse. It had enough buttons to make it a great choice for any style of game and it's plenty comfortable to use. I just wish it came in at a lower price. $59.99 is a fair price for this mouse, however, with so much competition out there, it's tough to recommend this mouse over some of the other ones with more streamlined software, unless getting sweaty during intense gaming sessions is a real issue for you. Well that's it for the video guys, as always give this video a like if you enjoyed it to show your support, and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here because I've got a lot more content coming your way in the near future. You can also follow me on Twitter at BrainBeamGaming for updates as to what's going on with the channel. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.